In this video, we are going to discuss about past tense. It is one of the alternative to the complementary CMOS logic, which is quite popular logic, uh, which reduces the number of transistor required to implement the logic compared to the complementary CMOS logic. So let us consider NMOS uh, pass transistor. So for the gate I have given VDD and for the drain I have given VDD. Okay. So VGS I can write it as VG minus VS. So, so I am substituting VG is equal to VDD and VS is equal to 0. For source, uh, initial value of the capacitor is uh, there is no charge. So, I have written Vs is equal to 0 and uh, Vds is equal to Vd minus Vs. Vds value is Vdd and Vs value is 0. So, I am uh, giving Vds is equal to Vdd. So, uh, consider the Vd value is equal to 5 and Vt value is equal to 1. So, here the Vdd is uh, greater than uh, 1 volt which means uh, VGS is greater than VT. So, this will make the uh, transistor on. VGS greater than VT means the uh, transistor will be on. Consider that the V out is equal to 5 now. If V, is, v out is equal to 5, my VGS becomes a VG minus VS. So, VDD minus VDD it will become. So, uh, what is VDD minus VDD is 0. So, VD is equal to, VGS is equal to 0 means transistor will not turn on so this condition will not occur v out is equal to 5 that is v out equal to vdd that will not reach right because during that time the transistor is on so uh, is not on therefore uh, the drain value will not reach the source value so here v out is nothing but v out is equal to vdd minus vt why it is so? So consider if V out is equal to 4, that is Vs is equal to 4. Therefore, Vgs is Vdd minus Vdd minus Vt, Vdd plus Vt. So what is Vgs? Vgs is equal to now Vt. Okay. So till that time only the transistor is on. Till V out is equal to 4 the transistor is on when v out reaches 5 it will not reach okay because the transistor is in off state so what i am coming to tell us when whenever the transistor is on if i give the drain as uh, vdd output i am getting is vdd minus vt it is not vdd so let us go to the second condition so initially uh, I am giving for the drain uh, for the source I am giving 0. So if, uh, if source is 0 VGS is VDD and VDS is 0 because drain also initially there is no charge so it is 0. So whenever the uh, transistor is on here the transistor is always on so 0 will reach the uh, capacitor. Okay. So, if the input is 0, output is also 0. So, that is why it is called as weak 1, strong 0. Because for VDD, I am not getting VDD. For VDD, I am getting VDD minus VT. So, it is called as uh, uh, strong 0 and weak 1. Let us consider the third um, example. So, if I am giving VDD minus VT as my input, I will get VDD minus VT and not VDD minus 2 VT. Why it is so? So consider uh, VGS is equal to VDD because initially the capacitance is 0, value is 0. If it reaches, uh, um, so initially the uh, drain old voltage is equal to VDD minus VT and source is 0. So consider if uh, the capacitance is charged to VDD minus VT. If it is charged to VDD minus VT, VGS is equal to VT. Okay. 
so if suppose if it is vdt minus 2 vt means it will go to uh, uh, vgs is equal to 2 vt okay uh, vgs is equal to 2 vt and uh, if i substitute here vds goes to uh, uh, goes less than uh, vds is less than uh, vds is equal to 2 vt uh, but uh, here um, uh, we know the condition vg should be greater than vt right here but uh, here it is 2 vt if i substitute uh, vdd minus 2 vt or if i substitute vdd minus vt that uh, that is also that is a very much greater value compared to uh, vdd minus 2 vt so if i vdd minus 2 vt means it is 4 3 this is 4 so this is a high highest value and this is also sat satisfying this value vt is equal to vt now so uh, if vdd minus vt is in the input output is also vdd VD minus vt not vdd minus 2 vt so let us go for the uh, fourth condition if uh, uh, input is vdd and uh, for the gate i have given vdd minus uh, vt means i will get vdd minus 2 vt this is another condition okay so let us consider uh, the four diagrams and uh, we will discuss the output right uh, so here uh, you can see vdd is connected to vdd is 5 volt that is connected to the one end and uh, uh, they are asking three transistor connected in uh, series uh, so output uh, what is the output so here is also vdd and uh, here is also vdd means the output is vdd minus vt so since uh, this vdd minus vt is less than vdd output is uh, same and uh, you will get vdd minus vt out the output so vdd minus vt is nothing but 4 volt let's consider the second uh, uh, diagram here uh, uh, this is similar to the this part so vdd minus vt i am getting output as vdd minus vt so if, uh, for the third condition trans is not at all on not all turned on so the output is zero the fourth condition uh, uh, i'm getting a uh, vdd minus vt at the uh, at the gate and vdd so i will get vdd minus 2 vt so here the um, uh, the value get uh, reduced okay so this will not able to turn on the transistor so sh you should not connect uh, in this manner So let us consider for a p mass uh, for p mass um, if vdd i am giving means the output i am getting vdd so you can check it uh, by solving this uh, equation so it is it is called a strong one for the if i give zero means i am getting a vttp vtp as a output that is one volt so it is called as weak zero and strong one Similarly, if I give um, the output like this, I will get 2 VTP as my output. So, consider uh, for the gate, I am giving VTP and uh, for the drain, I am giving, uh, for the source, I am giving V out. Uh, and uh, uh, for VDS, uh, D value is 0 and uh, V out uh, source is uh, uh, V out. Okay. Uh, suppose um, if I want to get the VGS value that should be uh, uh, greater than or equal to VTP right so I need to substitute this uh, V out as 2 VTP okay. once if I substitute 2 VTP only this will turn on so I am getting an output as uh, 2 VTP so um, we know that uh, this pass transistor is bidirectional and uh, it will not consume any static power and uh, we are using a uh, n transistor instead of 2n transistor uh, it is non regenerative um, and uh, the signal gradually decreases after passing through the number of 
past tenses okay so to implement the and gate using the past tense you have to connect a to the input and b to the gate so you will get a b at the output so here if i give zero means i will get the output as zero so a b plus zero is a b so this is how you have to connect a um, past tense for the and gate so next uh, let us discuss about the complementary past tense logic uh, so here uh, you are getting uh, if i want to get the and gate uh, you will get and gate and also nand gate similarly for or gate means you will get or and uh, nor gate xr and x nor gate so this is also called as differential past tense logic since the circuits are uh, differential data inputs so you can see uh, i am giving ab at the one end and for the next circuit for ab i am getting ab output for a bar b bar this is the next circuit so this is for um, uh, and gate and this is for nand gate so i am giving a differential data inputs and output also differential uh, differential this is and gate means this is a nand gate so uh, here the number of transistor used to uh, implement this logic is uh, very less so the cpl logic also belongs to a uh, static uh, uh, logic uh, where uh, uh, this also is connected to either vdd or ground uh, to a, a low resistance path so here uh, the for the input uh, you can see for the gate input uh, it is similar uh, b uh, for uh, two logic uh, that is for and and nand and b bar for and and nand so if uh, instead of a if i connect it to vdd it can also connect it to vdd or ground so that is why it is called as uh, static logic so in order to uh, get a high performance design uh, we are going for this logic uh, this is uh, similar to differential cascade voltage switch logic uh, which will accept a two and complementary input in order to produce the two and complementary output and this design is very uh, modular and uh, it makes the design of the library of the gate very simple and it has um, uh, advantages of uh, noise resilience so i have taken uh, this uh, uh, video by taking um, a reference from uh, rabbi book So thank you very much for listening. Thank you.